missed an episode of your favorite podcast, choose from over a decade of content in our archives. Not just the latest episode. All free at GCNlive.com. Good morning, greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 28 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like acne and psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure, because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to get off your medication or help a loved one get off their medication and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here from you for you. We welcome your phone calls on the bright side. Our number is 844-236-6010. That's 844-236-6010. If you have questions about formulations, ingredients, products, skincare products, the longevity products, we're going to be talking about the Beyond Tangy Tangerine here in a, uh, just a minute. Uh, if you have questions about uh, anything you may have read about or heard about, we welcome your phone calls. Of course, if you have a success story or you want to just contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010. We welcome your phone calls, 844-236-6010. And we will get your calls in our second segment uh, bottom of the hour, we're going to talk to Dr. Andrew Harley, Ph.D. Uh, he's got an undergrad degree in earth sciences and a Ph.D. in soil science and plant nutrition. And he has been studying minerals and, and plants and pesticides, heavy metals, herbicides, etc. for uh, over 25 years. We're going to be talking to him about this, this uh, article that some of you have written to me about. Uh, and I'll be talking about it here in a, just a minute or so. That's uh, at the bottom of the hour, so if you have uh, phone calls, uh, give us a shout here so we can get your calls in our second segment, 844-236-6010. Uh, let's see what else I want to tell you. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised on the program, you can head over to brightsideben.com or call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. Okay. So uh, we're going to take a little digression here. We'll pick up where we left off on our last program about grains and nitrates and nitric oxide tomorrow. But I've been getting phone calls and letters, and probably if uh, you're doing any longevity business, you've probably been getting calls or letters yourself. Uh, last week at the end of the program, uh, at the end of the Bright Side, we got a call from a gal who brought an article to my attention. I hadn't heard about this, but uh, I since have. This is an article that appeared on a website that I usually like, although... Uh, sometimes on this website there's a, some goofy stuff, but I usually like this website. Anyway, this article appeared on the website. It was written by somebody, somebody unknown, anonymous, somebody who apparently doesn't like Beyond Tangy Tangerine. And I've gotten calls, so has Longevity. I'm sure you guys have gotten calls and, and letters if you're in the, doing the Longevity business. So in the interest of clearing up any concern or confusion about this article that appeared on... Uh, I think it was before it's news.com about the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. I want to give you my take on, uh, on this article, which is somewhat incendiary and inflammatory. All right, so one of the most gratifying things about doing the bright side is the fact that you guys, my listeners, you guys get what I'm trying to communicate here, what I'm trying to say, what I want to stand for, what I want my professional, my personal, my spiritual life to stand for, what I'm offering you guys, what I'm, what I'm offering you to identify with, namely the power we have over our bodies, for better or worse. We have power over our bodies for better and we have power over our bodies for worse. We can mess things up or we can fix things up. We can do it ourselves. 
This is what I want the bright side and it's what I want to stand for. I want to stand for the simplicity of being healthy and that includes getting healthy and it involves not doctors, not medical strategies, but things we could do ourselves as individuals without experts, without white coats, without authorities. We can be our own healthcare professionals by relaxing, by supplementing, by moving our bodies, by eating correctly. Simple things, lifestyle things, by understanding the relationship between our thoughts, our mental nature, and our emotions, our psychological nature, and health, and relaxing and calming the body. These things all go together. And of course, so does intelligently and strategically using nutritional supplements. And if you've listened to this program for even five minutes or 10 minutes, you know that I love the Beyond Tangy Tangerine from Longevity. I've been using it in its many guises, in its several guises, for going on 18 years. It's a spectacularly designed formula. I'm speaking as a formulator. I'm speaking as a clinician. I've experienced the results personally myself. I've seen the results on countless others. And suffice it to say, I'm a fan of the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. So I was surprised and a little irritated, I must admit, when I read this article that showed up on the internet last week. A caller pointed it out to me at the end of a uh, program, I believe it was Thursday, Thursday morning. And uh, you guys have emailed me about this article, and I've spoken to several people already. And understandably, this article has caused concern. If you haven't seen it, the headline on the cover page has the words poison in big red letters, and it's right over a bottle of Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Now, leaving aside the really laughable nature of this claim of poison, you know, thousands of people over the course of uh, 17, 18 years have used this product. Probably tens, maybe hundreds of thousands have used, hundreds of thousands of people have used this product. Some people for 10 years, some people for 12 years, some people for 17 or 18 years. And not a single one has responded in a way that would appear that they were poisoned. So this is a laughable claim, first of all. Nobody's poisoned by this stuff. On the contrary, most people will tell you they feel awesome when they use the stuff. So leaving that aside, if you read the article, there's very little substance to this claim. As inflammatory as this headline is, poison. If you read the article, and I take it, you guys who have emailed me or, or called or, uh, or Facebooked me have not read this article because there's nothing in this article. The headline is inflammatory. So obviously this guy has some kind of agenda, whoever he is, but there's nothing in the article that is even remotely uh, uh, indicative of poison in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. The anonymous author writes, quote, so a few months ago I sent a, a sample of BTT 2.0 to an independent Swiss laboratory for toxicolo toxicological analysis and the results are in. Beyond Tangy Tangerine 2.0 is contaminated and not fit for, beyond, not fit for human consumption. This is, what the, unquote, this is what this guy's saying in his, uh, in his hit piece. And it is a hit piece because there's no facts in here really except for his claims, assertions. So how does he come to this conclusion that it's poison? Well, apparently according to his supposed testing, BTT has nitrates, poison, what? has phosphates, okay, chloride, fluoride, bromide, aluminum, and sulfates, and then he starts quoting government recommendations. So there's seven things that he's complaining about here, and then he starts quoting government recommendations and compares what happens if you use over the amount of the government recommendations, and that's how he proves his point that this stuff is poison, because it has too much chloride or too much fluoride or bromide or aluminum or sulfates or nitrates or phosphates, and that's it. Now, no, no mention is made of what kind of fluoride or chloride he found. Uh, no mention is made of the fact that fluoride has nutritional value, bromide has nutritional value, sulfates have nutritional value, et cetera. No mention is made of the protocols or the techniques or what kind of testing was done, uh, nor is mention made of uh, the, the form of the minerals. Was it plant-derived minerals? Was it heavy minerals? Was it, uh, you know, minerals are not the same. Not all minerals are the same. Not all fluoride is the same. Not all iodine is the same. Not all arsenic is the same. Not all chromium is the same. We're going to talk to Dr. Andrew Harley at the bottom of the hour about all this. So some guy is circulating an article where he claims without any proof that he had some lab in Switzerland. Why in Switzerland of all places? Could he find a lab in the United States? So he, he apparently, this is his claim, he sends this product out to Switzerland and then with no proof or any, it just claims that he makes, he conclusively states in big red letters, poison, BTT not fit for human consumption. No mention is made. Where was the lab? What was the research protocol? What were the results exactly? Can I see the results, mister? Who are you? No mention is made of the author. Did they really say unfit for human consumption? There are so many problems with this article. It's almost ridiculous that I even have to address it. But I am going to address it. I got more to say when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network, 
or 844-236-6010. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. Stress, like many conditions in a fast-paced society, is at epidemic proportions. And one of the most effective ways to support your body during periods of excessive stress is by replacing the nutrients expended during that time. De-stress contains large amounts of B-complex vitamins in addition to vitamin C, magnesium, and valerian root extract. For more information on this and other great products, contact Lady Talk Live at 855-333-5239. Majestic Earth's Beyond Tangy Tangerine contains no artificial sweeteners or preservatives and is glycemic friendly. This easy dissolving powder contains plant-derived minerals, vitamins, amino acids, and 115 fruits and vegetables. I can't think of anything better for you. For more information on this and other great products, contact Lady Talk Live at 855-333-5239. That's 855-333-LADY. Adam Miller here with Midas Resources. Today is January 5th, 2014, and gold opened at 1197.90. A one ounce gold coin can be purchased for 1242.08, 621.04 for a half ounce, or 310.52 for a quarter ounce. That's 1242.08, 621.04, and 310.52. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? Wait a sec. Gold and silver is going up while Congress is trying to settle on the next debt increase. And there's no end to this madness. That old 401k and IRA can be converted into physical gold without tax consequences. I explain this in my book, 10 Reasons to Buy Gold. Don't let time slip away. Call for your free copy today, 800-686-2237. Get away from that Washington spin and get honest answers about gold. 800-686-2237. The book is free, 800-686-2237. Virtually anyone can hack your cell phone and track your calls, your texts, your emails, your every movement, but only if they can detect a signal. Stay one step ahead of hackers and Big Brother with a block at Pocket, a custom-made pocket infused with pure silver that creates a complete Faraday enclosure for your cell phone. For free shipping to the lower 48, visit BlockItPocket.com or call 888-315-9618. BlockItPocket.com, enhancing health and privacy. Worried about getting sick and feeling terrible for days or even weeks? You need Immudine for a healthy immune system. Why get sick and bother with products that just don't work? For just a dollar a day, Immudine is all natural and safe for all lifestyles. Call 866-257-8668 to buy now before it's too late, before you get sick. Or go to immudyne.com, immudine.com, or call 866-257-8668. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for $35,000. You heard right. That's 5,000 square feet for $35,000. Manufacturing. If you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for 129000 You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. So call 866-91-STEEL. Lock in your price now. Call 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. GCN, proudly sponsored by UnseenNow.com. Find out how to stop Big Brother and his tracks at UnseenNow.com. This is GCN. Okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. If you're on hold, hang tight. I'll get you in just a minute. A couple more things I want to say about this article that appeared on BeforeIt'sNews.com. Headline, Poison, Beyond Tangy Tangerine's Poison. All right, so before we went to break, I was telling you, if you read the article, it's a lot different than if you just look at the headlines. There's nothing in the article about how this product was tested, what kind of metals are in there, what the exact results of the supposed Switzerland testing, why Switzerland. 
did they uh, did the researchers really say unfit for human consumption? Did they really say poison? Listen, I have been offering tips, strategies, nutritional choices, ideas, concepts for people, for patients to help them reverse their health challenges for nearly 30 years since 1983. What is that? That's over 30 years if you include my uh, my three years as a student, uh, my four years as a pharmacy student. Over 30 years, I know a lot about supplementation. I know a lot about formulation. I know a lot about nutrition in the body. And when I see an idea or a strategy or a formulation or a product work over and over and over again, when I see it work repeatedly to address and reverse degenerative diseases, I, I notice that. And I want you to notice it too. When I tell you to take a product or I recommend, I don't tell you to take a product, I suggest a product, I recommend a product. It's not because I make 10 cents on the product or 20 cents because I have a longevity distributorship. It's because I'm a healthcare professional. I've seen the results, not once, not twice, not 100 times, maybe hundreds, maybe thousands of times. Results like, this is from the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Results uh, like uh, drops in blood pressure, weight loss, people reducing or entirely eliminating their prescription medication. Results like feeling more energy. This is from the Beyond Tangy Tangerine that's supposedly poisoned. More restful sleep, better sex, lower blood sugar. Results like just feeling better. So when I read an article posted by some anonymous source, or even an expert for that matter, but especially somebody who's not even telling you who he is, especially one that's as weakly supported as this, this article, if you will, and when I compare it to what I've seen with my own eyes, what I know with my own eyes, it's very difficult for me to take this thing seriously. If this guy says, said to me, well, uh, there are people who are dying from this poison BTT stuff. I've seen people dying. I've seen the agony. It's caused suffering. It's caused misery. That's one thing. If he said that, he's seen people suffering and in agony and poison from beyond tangy tangerine with the same sense of personal experience that I, t I have when I tell you about blood pressure dropping and pounds falling off and energy increasing and appetite, uh, appetite being suppressed and, and medication reduction. When I tell you about these personal these things that I've witnessed personally, more times than I can count, if he said, if he said that he knew that the BTT was poison with his, based on his own experience with the same kind of certitude that I have when I tell you I've seen this stuff work, then I would start to pay attention. Then I would take this guy seriously. But to simply rip on a product with no backing that so many people find valuable, to rip and try to dissuade people from using a nutritional supplement that so many people have made an important part of their daily lives and their nutritional program by quoting some supposed results about levels of a substance that somebody from the government may consider problematic. Number one, that's not fair. And number two, it smacks of an agenda or an ulterior motive. Number one, it's depriving people or potentially depriving people of a powerful source of nutrition that can change their lives. And number two, it smells bad. It smells like he's got some kind of ulterior motive. But of course, we have freedom of the press and freedom of expression, and people can say whatever they want, and they can make whatever claims they want. And just like they said in, in ancient Rome, caveat emptor, let the buyer beware. Always be careful. As Ronald Reagan said, trust yet verify. As they say in Islam, uh, trust in God or trust in Allah, but tether the camel. So we just got everybody gets to say what they want. Everybody gets to promote what they want. We have to assess the claims and we have to assess the facts for ourselves. All right, at the bottom of the hour, we're going to talk to Dr. Andrew Harley. He's a PhD a geologist and soil chemist. He specializes in nutritional minerals, and we're going to clarify this whole subject of minerals, their various forms, plant-derived minerals, and the relevance of the various forms to health and toxicity. And uh, got a couple calls here. We'll try to get some calls before our break, and then we'll talk to Dr. Harley. Wesley in Ohio, good morning. What's up, buddy? Yes, uh, <clears throat> looking at a comparative digestive track uh, that I found on the internet. It's part of a book by uh, Dr. Vogelton. It's a comparison of the digestive track of a human, dog, and sheep. And guess what? The human and the dog are virtually identical with just uh, major difference is that the human has an appendix, the dog does not. Is it not fair to assume then uh, the dog is a carnivore or humans carnivores? The humans are omnivores. Read the omnivores dilemma. Uh, Michael Pollan. Humans do everything. Humans, are, humans and rats are opportunistic eaters. They're the two major opportunistic eaters of the animal kingdom. We eat anything. And that's because we're built to survive. 
And that's a good thing, and it's also a bad thing. It's a good thing in the sense that uh, we can eat anything and we could survive on anything. It's a bad sense is because we do eat anything and they feed us anything. At least our industrial food model feeds us anything. So uh, to answer your question, Wesley, uh, first of all, dogs are used in pharmaceutical testing. That's one of the major animals they use for drug company testing for drugs because their biochemistry is very similar to humans. Uh, and then uh, to answer your question specifically, no, we are omnivores. We eat anything, opportunistic eaters, uh, not just carnivores, although certainly we are designed to eat meat. So sorry, vegetarians, the fact of the matter is our digestive tract is supposed to eat meat. It's supposed to eat anything, really, but including meat. Does that answer your question, Wesley? Mm, I guess. Uh, do, do dogs like to eat uh Vegetables, then? Can uh, sometimes, they? not not as a rule, but yes, indeed. I've had I've had personally, I've I've had dogs that ate carrots and cabbage, and I've seen dogs and cats too, for that matter. It's not their preferred source of food, but they've been domesticated like we have, and they'll they'll you'll eat a lot of different things that they're that's not in their natural diet in the wild. I got to move on, Wesley. Thank you so much, buddy. Thanks for calling. Appreciate it very much. All right, uh, Farhan, Virginia. Welcome to the bright side. What's going on? Hey, Ben. Uh, I'm a first time caller. Uh, what I really wanted to know was, where does the touring come from in the Rebound FX? And I had a couple more questions, if you can answer that, please. Uh, taurine is a basic, is a very simple molecule. It's probably synthesized. I'm not sure where all where taurine comes from, but it is probably synthesized, It would be my guess. Uh, I don't believe it's a natural, I don't believe it comes from food. I, it's, it probably is synthesized. The taurine molecule is a, it's one of the smaller amino acids. It's not difficult to, be, to make in an in a industrial setting. Uh, it's a derivative of a, another amino acid called cysteine. Uh, probably it's, I, I'm guessing it's probably manufactured. I, I'm not sure exactly. Why, what were you thinking? Well, yeah, I mean, I'm a Muslim, so I couldn't really eat the natural uh, taurine where it comes from. Uh, I, you can eat I this can one. Eat this is not, this would not be, this would not be an animal-derived taurine. Although taurine okay, is, as, as you point out, taurine is an animal-derived amino acid. It's found in meat. A tora means bull. It was first found in ox bile, but uh, it, it's probably synth synthetic. Great. Uh, I actually called in because the Nasima asked me to uh, call in to get my questions answered when I sure. emailed the site. Another question I had was, uh, what are your thoughts on plant-based proteins uh, versus whey, and what well, are the best supplements for weightlifters? Okay, plant-based proteins can't even hold a candle to whey, and I'll tell you why. First of all, everything has protein. Vegetables have protein, animal Animal products have protein. Everything has protein. Protein's everywhere. It's ubiquitous. However, the, the benefits of whey protein is, and egg protein for that matter, is they're building proteins. They contain high concentrations of building amino acids. This will answer your second question. And they also contain factors. And factors are not amino acids. They're not protein. Or they're proteins, but they're not amino acids. And they do various things. And, and we'll, I'll finish up when we come back because we've got to take a, a commercial break. So hang Hang on. Uh, sorry if we left you on hold. You can call us back tomorrow. we got Dr. Andrew Harley in the bottom of the hour. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. Worried about getting sick and feeling terrible for days or even weeks? You need Immudine for a healthy immune system. Why get sick and bother with products that just don't work? For just a dollar a day, Immudine is all natural and safe for all lifestyles. Call 866-257-8668 to buy now before it's too late, before you get sick. Or go to immudyne.com, immudine.com, or call 866-257-8668. Are you hungry for delicious, nutritious, rich, and satisfying home-cooked meals? Discover the Vita Clay 4-in-1 Smart Organic Cooker. Unglazed Zisha Clay, an ancient secret that makes this fast multi-cooker so special. Infusing your food with incredible flavors, perfect texture, vitamins, and minerals for your good health. It's a slow cooker, rice cooker, a steamer, plus a yogurt maker. Go to VitaClayChef.com and enter promo code RADIO20 for 20% off at checkout. That's VitaClayChef.com. You pick up the receiver. With your heart racing and sweat dripping from your forehead, you finally muster the courage to dial the number to call into your favorite talk radio show. It rings once, twice, and then... Hello, it's GCN. What's your name and the state you're calling from? Surprised you got through, you squeak out. Jason from Minnesota. Please hold. As you patiently wait for your turn, you begin to daydream about being a famous talk radio host and what it would be like to have your own show. Jason from Minnesota, you're up. Millions of loyal listeners worldwide waiting to call and talk to you. Caller 
are you there? Cheering crowds surround you, calling out your name. Jason! Jason! Going once, twice. Okay, we gotta move on to the next caller. You blew it. Huh? Wait, no! Interact with the host you're listening to right now online at GCNlive.com. Click on the community link. Engage with other listeners. Ask questions. Start debates. Don't agree with the host? Let them know. Be a part of the community at GCNlive.com. We live in a complicated society. Stressful issues are always popping up. Have you ever been treated unfairly by someone? Have you ever been overcharged for a repair? Have you ever signed a contract or a document worried about identity theft? How many times have you been in those unique situations where you just wanted to call an attorney to find out if you're right or wrong or what your legal rights are? But every time you think about calling an attorney, what do you think about first? That's right. Who do you call and how much will it cost? Our friends at Legal Shield have found a solution. With a nationwide network of 6,900 attorneys who average 19 years of experience, Legal Shield's law firms take over 40,000 calls per week helping their members. For less than $20 per month, you can have access to Legal Shield on everything from the trivial to the traumatic. Let Legal Shield stand up for your rights at lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com. Or call 855-340-SAVE, 855-340-7283. Results will vary from case to case. Yeah? Did you want to see me, sir? Well, I did, but now that I do, I'm not so sure. Sir? Johnson, I got a mission for you that could change your life. Oh, good, sir. It involves traveling halfway around the world without so much as half a clue of where you're going or what you're going to do when you get there. Situation normal, sir? Uh-huh. Right, I'll be leading this mission, Johnson, so I'll be telling you what to do. You, sir? That's right, Johnson, and I say first things first. Oh, good plan, sir. Yeah, and what I say is first is food. Always remember that, Johnson. Food is a big deal. Sir, my brother-in-law can get us a really good deal on some surplus MREs. Johnson, if you've got half a brain and that empty head of yours, you'll call the freeze-dry guy like I did. That food is better for you, it rehydrates faster, and it's good, Johnson. And it keeps for up to 30 years. Will we be gone that long, sir? I hope not. Now get your supplies organized and meet me down to the pier at dawn on Sunday. We sail at sunrise. Yes, sir. This adventure is brought to you by the freeze-dry guy. Call 866-404-3663 or visit freezedryguy.com. Alex Jones here. For the last two years, I've been working with top doctors, nutritionists, and chemists to design a nutraceutical formulation that has truly life-changing health benefits. So many other formulations out there contain toxic ingredients, synthetic additives, and even GMOs. Introducing the all-new Ancient Defense Herbal Immunity Blend, crafted with over 14 key ancient herbs and extracts to supercharge and prepare your body for what experts admit is the most dangerous season of the year. We have rejected hundreds of other formulations in our quest to bring you what is simply the most powerful and comprehensive proprietary formula that we have ever created in the realm of herbal immunity. Experience the benefits of combining over 14 ancient herbs and extracts with exciting new advances in nutraceutical science. Now is the time to secure ancient defense for you and your family. Visit InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-888-253-3139. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Free from the shackles of corporate America, we're the place for independent thinkers. GCN. Okay, we are back on the bright side. Uh, we'll get to Dr. Harley here in just a minute. Uh, I want to finish up with Farhan. Uh, Farhan was talking about uh, the difference. He asked me about the difference between plant proteins and animal proteins, and here's the big difference. First of all, plants do contain protein. They just don't contain the building proteins that you'll find in whey and egg specifically. Whey and egg are the two primal building proteins, the two primary building proteins. That's because an egg is basically a cell, and a cell, it's an egg cell, and cells are meant to divide and grow, so it got, has everything you need to divide and grow for a cell to divide and grow. And that includes something called growth factors, as well as protective factors, antibiotic factors. These factors are not the same as, as protein, uh, not the same as amino acids. They're peptides, they're strings of amino acids, and they're only found in dairy and egg. And by the way, this is what makes dairy and egg protein problematic because sometimes these peptides or these, these uh, strings of amino acids that are only found in dairy and whey, because they're active, they can set off an immune response. 
So that makes them problematic and it makes them very, very important, especially for building. Vegetarians, I'm sorry, there's no vegetables that contain these kinds of things, these kinds of uh, elements, these kinds of factors, growth factors specifically, and also antibiotic factors or antiseptic factors, and also factors that stimulate the, the, uh, the development of the digestive tract and improve the environment of the digestive tract as it, as it uh, regards probiotics and bacteria. Only uh, whey, or dairy I should say, and whey especially because it's so packed, and egg contain these kinds of proteins. If you're a bodybuilder, you can get away with not, without using dairy and egg if you're vegan or vegetarian, but in my opinion, you're depriving yourself of some very powerful growth-inducing elements and protective elements, uh, uh, antiseptic and antibiotic elements, and gut development or digestive development elements that you're not going to get from vegetables or from uh, well, you're not going to get from vegetable protein, I should say. You only get an egg and whey. hope that answers your question, Farhan. And uh, if you've got any more questions, you can email me, ben at ksco.com. All right. So I'm really excited about our next guest because this guy is an expert in one of the more confusing subjects in nutrition. No, the most confusing subject in nutrition. That's the idea of minerals. Minerals are all, just because two minerals have the same name doesn't mean they're the same structure. And this is very important to recognize. There's different kinds of chromium. There's different kinds of lead. There's different kinds of mercury. There's different kinds of iodine, etc. And some are, some are uh, uh, healthy and some are not. And you have to know about the form of the mineral. We talk here about plant-derived minerals, and they're a completely different animal, so to speak, completely different mineral than a heavy metal, for example. I want Dr. Uh, Andrew Harley, our guest, to come, uh, our guest coming up here, to talk about this a little bit, Dr. Harley has an undergrad degree in earth sciences and a PhD in soil science and plant nutrition. And make no mistake about it, this is a very important and very difficult PhD to have. He's got 25 years of managing environmental issues in the soil and in the water. Uh, he's res been responsible for uh, hundreds of assessments and, cleanup, uh, and the cleanup of contaminated sites. Uh, he's dealt with a wide range of contaminants, including herbicides, pesticides, heavy metals. His specialty is soil mineral, soil remineralization, that is returning soils, returning minerals back to the soil to improve soil health, uh, as well as food nutrition. And uh, he's also a very uh, proud member, and I'm proud to have him aboard, uh, in the Longevity family. Thanks so much for joining us today, Dr. Harley. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, doing great, thanks, uh, Dr. Pitts. Uh, thanks for having me on the call. Thank you for, uh, thank you for joining us. So, uh, when I was in pharmacy school, and uh, when I was studying chemistry, there was nothing that had the same, set, the same idea of difficulty as something called PCHEM, right? Physical chemistry. And there's a, there were these right. bumper stickers that people used to have that said, honk if you passed PCHEM. Because physical <laughs> chemistry is the, right, have you ever seen that? Honk if you passed PCHEM. PCHEM or physical right. chemistry for the listeners is the hardest, sec, the hardest uh, discipline in all of chemistry. It has a reputation for being the most difficult discipline in all of chemistry because it's about the, the, uh, uh, the physics of chemistry. It's about the electrons. It's about the quantum nature of what we call molecules and chemicals and atoms. And this is why minerals are such a confusing subject. Dr. Harley is an expert in these ideas, and that's why I wanted to have him come on the program. Doc, tell us a little bit, first of all, about your credentials, and then I want you to get into the idea of minerals are all being different. First of all, what specifically did you study in school in terms of minerals? Um, so, so uh, as I said, undergraduate was just just earth sciences, so, so effectively a geology degree. Um, and through that process, uh, where I really concentrated in was the area of geo, what, what I call geochemistry, which is the, the, the study of the earth um, and the chemistry of the earth and how all of those things things play out. Um, from there, I let me let me stop. Yeah. Let me stop you here for a second, Doctor. When you say the chemistry of the earth, you mean the chemistry of earth minerals, correct? Yeah, that's right. So, so, so everything that, that that we have comes from, you know, effectively comes from the earth. So, so for example, uh, if we're at a zinc mine, for example, what is the chemistry of that zinc? How does it relate to 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 to, to the minerals? Um, through to mineral weathering, how do minerals weather, how do soils form, what is the chemistry associated with that. If we add water, what happens to those minerals, what happens to the form of chemistry uh, okay. of, those, of those minerals. Um, as you said, that, that the, I mean, there are two main components that are, that, that, that are important in chemistry, and, uh, you know, especially in the earth, and that is the, that is the, 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 the oxygen component, um, you know, and the uh, and, and the water component. How do those two things combine 
to change, um, you know, effectively a rock into something that becomes soluble. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang tight. So you said something very important there. There's a way that a rock can be converted into something valuable, nutritionally valuable, and it involves solubility. Did I hear you correct? Correct. Okay, so let me say that again for the listeners, okay? Rocks are hard, inert, relatively inert substances, but they can be converted into nutritional substances. They can be converted from rocks into nutrients, and this conversion involves how water-soluble these elements will be. So how, uh, to cut to the chase here, Dr. Harley, tell us about the differences in, say, a mineral like chromium or a mineral like iodine or even a mineral like, uh, like iron. Tell us about what makes something toxic, a toxic mineral, and then how can that toxic mineral be converted into a valuable, nutri- non-toxic, nutritional mineral? Okay, great. Great, great excuse. I'm, I'm going to introduce the concept called, called uh, redox, called, called reduction and oxidation. I mentioned that, that oxygen is, 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 is the basis of life. It is also the basis for these chemical reactions. And what happens is that there is the transfer of electrons. It's an, it's, it, it's an energetic transfer between um, um, air and, 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 and a rock, um, um, uh, um, water and a rock, these, these components. And as that energy transfers... From the water to the rock, water. From the transfer comes from the water to the rock or from the air to the rock, correct? Correct. Okay. And what happens is that you then get a change in an electronic state. So uh-huh. you, use the, you, you, you mentioned chromium. For example, and everyone's, I, you know, I, I, you know, everyone's not sure what's that. You know, Aaron Brockovich and hexavalent chrome, and hexavalent chrome means that there, are, it has a char, a positive charge of six uh, electrons. When that uh, electron is is lost out of that, it reduces down to to what is called, I'm sorry, oxidized to what is called chrome three. Now, chrome three, hexavalent chrome six, hexavalent chrome is toxic. That is a toxic compound. But as that electron is transferred to chrome three, then what happens is that actually becomes a, a, a non-toxic form, and is actually the form that the body actually needs. Okay, hang tight. We got to take a, we got to take a break, Doc. But what I'm hearing you say is that be, uh, you can take toxic chrome, react it with oxygen, or react it with water, and it becomes a nutritional element. Correct? Correct. Okay, hang tight. We'll finish up when we come back. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We're talking to Dr. Andrew Harley about minerals. We'll be back right after this. The average American family spends over $1,000 a month on food. No person is exempt from this need. With the holidays here, why not give the most important gift you can give? The gift of food freedom and security. GoFoods is perfect for the college student, traveler, outdoorsman, family, busy professional, and the retired. Storable for 25 years, non-GMO, kosher certified, and affordable, GoFoods meals are easy to make. Add water, and in 15 minutes, you have a delicious meal. GoFoods packaging allows you to store food in the small of living spaces. Take Go Foods anywhere. The bug out bag, the RV, the car, the trail, the pantry, and on the table. Go anywhere, but don't go hungry. Serve it today, save it for the future, and share it this holiday season. Special holiday packages available. Call 800 648 9753 or on the web at www.storefoodnow.com. That's 800 648 9753 or www.storefoodnow.com. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curb appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855 855- Five five nine five five seventy eight sixty six. What good is a big Berkey water filter? 
We get that question a lot here at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And in a word, the answer is protection. Protection from water main breaks, E. coli contamination, environmental chemical spills, pesticide runoff, chlorine taste and smell, and all forms of fluoride. Plus, Big Berkey Water Filters are the original gravity water filter system and most trusted on the market for a reason. Tested by multiple independent NSF EPA certified labs, they are the gold standard in water purification. At only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. That means big savings. Big Berkey, the one that's powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. Get a Big Berkey today at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. GCN listeners receive 5% off all ceramic filter systems. Visit our website or call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters for the love of clean water. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy and get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional and installation. You control what you watch when you watch it. Record your favorite shows, pause and rewind live TV, even skip the commercials. Watch local channels too. At just $19.99, what are you waiting for? Pull out your major credit or debit card. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. 1-855-905-MY-TV. Say goodbye to the cable guy. Cut costs and get more. 1-855-905-MY-TV. 1-855-905-MY-TV. UnseenNow.com, proud sponsor of GCN. Unseen Now's unparalleled encryption tools keep your communications secure. GCN. Okay, we are back on the Bright Sinai Pharmacist Ben. We're talking to Dr. Andrew Harley, Dr. Mineral. I'm going to call you Dr. Harley if that's okay. Just so everybody that's understands correct. that you're a mineral expert, and that's very important because minerals are all confusing. But before you went, we went to break. You were saying how by reacting uh, by uh, by its reaction with oxygen or its reaction with water, a toxic rock, a toxic mineral or a rock inert mineral can be converted into a nutritional mineral. Correct. Yeah, so the, the, the way of thinking of understanding is that there's, there's, there's this energetic dance uh, that goes on, uh, you, know, you know, between, between the rock, rock and water, rock and air, rock and plants, um, uh, rock and acids, all of these things can, can there's this dance where, where, where the, the, these minerals change form depending on the, 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 the geochemical condition under which they are found. Who they're dancing with, what they're dancing with, essentially. If they're dancing with water. They're... Now, you said something very interesting. You said that a mineral can be changed by its dance, and I love how you said that, because that's exactly what it is. It's a back and forth and give and take at the electron level. Uh, a mineral can be changed by its dance with plants, thus Correct. the term plant-derived minerals. So not all minerals are the same, first of all. I'm saying this to the listeners now. Not all minerals are the same, even if they have the same name. Not all chromiums are the same. Not all iodines are the same. Not all arsenics are the same. Not all mercuries are the same, etc. It depends on how this mineral reacts with its environment. One of, it, one of the environments that it can react with is a plant environment. These are, when, when a mineral uh, reacts with the plant, it's called a plant-derived mineral. Tell us what those are, uh, Dr. Harley. So these are, these, these are basically, so, so the root, as the root goes into the ground, um, it actually releases organic acids. That's the acids help to break, break down the, uh, the, the, the rock. Um, it is then taken into the plant, and the plant organizes the minerals uh, in such a way that, that it makes it um, available and nutritious for, for animals. And in fact, there's, there's, it, there's some, there's, there's, sorry, go on. Ben. Uh, can it do it with mercury? Can a plant uh, turn mercury? So, yes. Can so a plant can take mercury, which everybody's uh, terrified of, justifiably so, and it can convert that mercury, can dance with the mercury, as you said, at the electron level, and make that mercury nutritionally valuable, whether to humans or to animals. Correct. It can neutralize it and can make it available. So if I told you this, if I told you the Beyond Tangy Tangerine had mercury in it, as a geochemist, as a PhD, what would be the first question you would ask? First question is, what form is it in? Perfect. Firstly, what form is it in and what is its concentration? Did you guys hear that? That's what you got to know. Not all mercury is the same. So if some bonehead prints an article that says there's mercury in here, in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, you got to ask what kind of mercury. Is the same true about aluminum? 
Same is true. Same is true about aluminum. And the other thing about that, that, that Ben, and you know this as a chemist, it all depends on on on, on the particular analysis. There are there, there there are hundreds of analysis you could determine, you could do to understand what what is in the 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 the, 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 um, the compound. So 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 you need to know the analysis. You need to know the form. You need to know the concentration. And these are the things taken in total before you can make that decision. Okay. Now, did you read this article? That I uh, did. You get a chance to read this thing that was I did. I, I did get a chance to read it. Then, okay. Yeah. So, what's your take on it? Look, I mean, there's a, there's, there's a couple of things. I mean, firstly, he, you know, the the the, the results have been compared on. I am assuming to groundwater uh, um, data. Certainly, the arsenic appears to be, and that's like okay, great. So, so certainly. You know, there, there are thresholds for understanding um, uh, the concentration of metals within groundwater. But that is, that, 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 that is a mass in a water component. We don't know, again, the analysis that was done on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, which is a solid. So really the, the, the results should be reported in milligrams per kilogram or, you know, you know, you know, you know mass per mass. Cause it's so solid. even, the, even um, the way he reported the data is off because he, 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 he reported them in, term, in, in terms of a solid, not in terms of a liquid, correct? Correct. It's, 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 it, he, he appears to be taking a solid and then reporting it as, as, as a liquid result, which, which is nonsensical. So right on the face of it, just by looking at 5.4 milligrams per liter, how, why would a solid be measured in, in liters? Well, isn't it? It has to be dissolved. It's, so, so what you've dissolved is, so if, they, if you took a, a 100 grams of Beyond Tangy Tangerine and then dissolved it into a liter of water, um, then, you, then you run whatever that analysis is, and then, but then you need to convert it back to, to, to solid. what the original mass was. So, right. So, you know, you know, you know, it's if you're if you're analyzing a solid, you should be reporting milligrams of a metal in terms of total kilograms of what it was you're you're analyzing. So right away we got a problem just looking at the the units that he used. How about the idea? How about the the bromides, the nitrates, and the sulfates? What's your take on that? Um, again, what are those? What what are the um, what are the forms that they that that they're they're in? Again, it looks as if that he was comparing these. Uh, entirely to, to, to groundwater data, um, which has its place. But you know, if you dissolved a you know a um, a can of tangy tangerine into a you know threw it down a well and then uh, came back a couple of days later and measured it, you know, I guarantee you, you'd be getting very different results. Because you're measuring the groundwater. Because you're measuring the groundwater. You know, you know, you know the, we, we don't know what form it's in. It's like I'm assuming I haven't seen all the data, but I'm assuming he's reporting total, you know, total chrome, for example. Do we know is it chrome three? Is it chrome six? What is the, you know, what is the form that it's in? Okay. So, do, bottom line here, what's your? Would you, would you take this stuff? Would you take this article seriously as a PhD geochemist, no. soil geologist? No, not at all. It, I, I, you know, again, it's it's it's, it's highly alarmist. There's no, there's no data to support it. There's no indication what the what the analysis was. All he's done is, is he sent a sample of the supposedly the to an independent Swiss lab for toxicological analysis. What are the analyses? We don't know. There, we don't know what they are. Is there something special about Swiss labs? Is, is I'm, Switzerland? I'm assuming, some... I'm assuming they're, they're good at analyzing chocolate. I, I, I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know why. We, yes, that's true. Maybe he should do the uh, all the chocolate products too and send them out to go. Switzerland. There, I don't know why. I don't know why he went to Switzerland either. All right. So, what's your take on the Beyond? How long have you been using the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Doctor Doctor Harlow? Um, I've been using it for a couple of years as as Beyond Tangy Tangerine for a couple of years, and then you know the the good old plant derived minerals for for over a decade now. And are, do you feel poisoned in any way, shape, or form? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, Obviously, yeah, no, no, I'm, 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 I'm doing fine. And in fact, you've met, you, you know, you met my beautiful you, wife, who has been, you know, you know, you know, she has avoided. Um, uh, doctor said they needed to fuse her neck, and now she can, she can basically live pain free. So, it, you, know, you know, you know, no problem. You're a PhD. You could do a lot of things. You could write. You could teach. You could be a professor. But you got yourself involved with longevity. Tell me why. My academic research was such that. I worked out we could theoretically and academically improve improve the soil, uh, but it was just too expensive and it was logistically difficult. The more I looked into it, the more I found that our food system is actually killing us and it's getting harder and harder to actually change the food system en masse. 
The only way that I see that we could do it is through a product through, through you know, such as Longevity, where we need to be doing that supplementation. There's no way we're getting what we need out of our food. Just, just, just can't. We need to be doing supplementation. This product being plant derived, uh, having the spectrum that it has, and having the the, the 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 scientific credential behind it, I believe is the the best company out, you know you know out there right now. What, as a as a PhD, as a uh, as an academician, as a professor, as a scientist, what's your take on Dr. Wallach and his work? I think it's fantastic. You go and have a look at his his um, uh, all of his academic work. It, it is um, it, it is second to none, and that's how I got involved in, in longevity. Was when I was doing my academic research, I came across you know his work and his work on minerals, and that's how I became became involved. Um, there's another there's another great book uh, for for your readers to get a hold of if they can. It's called Soil Grass and Cancer, which that's was an amazing written, book. Uh, that's an amazing you know, an book. Amazing book. Yeah, yeah, amazing. That, outline, that, that outlines everything that Wallach talks about independently. If you want to, if you want another version of what Wallach is talking about, get a hold of this book, uh, yeah. Andre Voisin, Sawgrass and Cancer. Absolutely, will 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 change your thinking around uh, 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 around this problem. That's awesome. And by the way, that book is is uh, you gotta you gotta dig around for it. I had to, I had spent like almost two hundred dollars for it, but it was worth it. It's a great book. Soil grass um, and cancer. Acres, yeah, yeah. Acres USA. You should be able to get a hold of it. Acres USA. What was the other book you were telling me about? I forgot what that was. Another uh, soil book. What was the first book you read on soil? It was the first book you read, you told me. It was a classic book, green cover. Oh, oh, oh secret, se- yeah, Secrets of the Soil. Secrets of the Soil. That's another amazing book. So Secrets of the yeah, Soil. Yeah, and yeah. So- yeah, that's a great one, too. Uh, Secrets yeah, of the yeah, Soil yeah. and Soil, Grass, and Cancer. Dr. Harley, it's been a total pleasure. It's been an honor. And this is the quality, folks, listener, for the listeners, this is the kind of quality people you're going to meet, you're going to be involved with, you're going to get to consult with and deal with when you join, if you're on the fence about joining Longevity. Uh, Dr. Harley, uh, it's been a total, total pleasure. I hope I get to see you soon, buddy. Okay, thanks, Ben. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, have a beautiful day. All right, that was Dr. Thanks Andrew Harley, uh, geochemist and soil scientist, and, and that's uh, that's pretty much everything you've heard on the bright side. I, I, everything he said is stuff you've been we've been talking about here for years. Anyway, well, tomorrow we'll continue talking about uh, wheat and anxiety, and then we'll uh, finish up with nitrates and nitric oxide. I'm pharmacist Ben. If you want to join the Brightside Ben team, love to have you aboard. Call 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470 for the Brightside Ben phone team. Have yourselves a spectacular, wonderful, beautiful day. We'll talk to you all later, folks. Bye for now. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. Manage. Managing your business and customers isn't easy, huh? Snapforce Customer Relationship Software may be just what you need. Snapforce CRM is a software solution that helps you manage everything important about your customers, from sales to marketing to service and support. All of your customer information is right there at your fingertips for easy access. It's time to take control of your business in a snap. Get your free trial at snapforce.com. That's S-N-A-P-F-O-R-C-E dot com. Snapforce.com. If the IRS has garnished your paycheck or seized money from your bank account, you need to get professional tax help now. Fast action is required to put a halt to these aggressive IRS collection tactics. You can count on the knowledgeable team of tax professionals at Wall & Associates. With over 30 years of experience, Wall & Associates has settled the tax problems of thousands of taxpayers for a small fraction of what they owed. For a free face-to-face consultation, call 1-800-425-4610 to put a wall between you and the IRS. 1-800-425-4610 or look for us on the web at wallandassociates.net. We solve tax problems. If you hire Walland Associates today, you'll never have to talk to the IRS again. To stop the levies and seizures today, take action now. Call Walland Associates at 1-800-425-4610. Wall and Associates. 1-800-425-4610.